Number 10, uh, I, I, I'd probably get buried eventually. I'm going to say Jacksonville. I've never had them on this lift. So I'll never have them on potentially again, but they rank first in the NFL in defensive categories, points per game, points per drive, yards per game, yards per play, passing yards, red zone, sacks. Their secondary is just going to be pro bowlers for a long time. And when Blake Bortles doesn't throw an interception six times this year, they haven't lost. Tom Coughlin walked into this organization and made it real clear. We're going to build on defense and running game. Bortles is not going to lose any more games for us. Jacksonville's the real deal. Number nine. I got the Chargers one spot ahead uh, because the Chargers played Jacksonville and actually outplayed them. I watched every snap of that game. And Phillip Rivers in the playoffs, I'll take players over plays. Listen, over the last eight, they are allowing a passer rating of 67.3. Okay, the Chargers are a big play offense with multiple weapons a tremendous pass rush, a Hall of Famer, in my opinion, quarterback playing tremendous football. Chargers at number nine. Number eight. The Ravens. Watch out for the Ravens. Historically, they go into Foxborough and and give New England troubles. The only time the Ravens have allowed 400 yards of offense this year was when they went out of the country and faced the Jags in London. On our soil, that defense has been outstanding, and I watched them this last week. They are starting to feel really, really good about themselves. A little bit like Jacksonville, they don't need their quarterback to be great to win. But I'll take Flacco over Bortles. Number seven. Russell Wilson's on the show in an hour and a half, the Seahawks quarterback. Here's the problem. I love Russell Wilson. I love Pete Carroll. But Russell has accounted for 29 of the 30 offensive touchdowns. That's ridiculous. You, You can't win a Super Bowl with that. I mean, he is such a wizard, but there are ramifications eventually for having a 5'11 quarterback run around like in high school, having to score every touchdown. I love their coach. I love their quarterback. I I can't put him higher than seven. Number six. Listen, the Steelers are the only team in the NFL with multiple sacks in every game this year. And Big Ben put on a classic Hall of Fame display in lousy weather last night in a big rivalry game. But their point differential, they've struggled with Cleveland. Green Bay without Aaron Rodgers, Indianapolis, they are way too inconsistent. They are eking by week to week. I just don't know what I get half to half. That's why I put the Steelers six and number five. Number five. The Rams consistently give me the same team and effort. Plus, they lead the NFC in sacks with 37, have had nine over the last two games. The Steelers sound better than the Rams. The Rams are better than the Steelers. Consistency is about coaching and maturity. Two things I think the Rams right now have over Pittsburgh. Number four. Don't freak out about the Eagles. I've always believed my my top four teams in this are the Super Bowl teams. They still had 425 yards offense. All right, what happened Sunday, they failed to run for 100 yards for the first time since week one. They'll get the running game back on track. I think they'll run pretty well against the Rams. You can run on the Rams. Uh, I think Philadelphia has a chance to beat the Rams this weekend. I think they will, actually. That's my gut feeling. Don't overvalue a loss in Seattle. That was a desperate Seahawks team, and Russell Wilson was ridiculous. Number three. The Saints. Marshawn Lattimore is coming back. Alvin Kamara, the running back. What a steal this guy has been. But since week eight, Drew Brees... Passer rating, 109. I love this Drew Brees. Fewer picks, better running game, little more conservative. New Orleans is really, really good. They're going to win this division. Number two. Best defense in the NFL is not Denver, it's Minnesota. They held the Vikings to season low in yards, passing, third down Sunday. Falcons were one for 10 on third down. Are you kidding me? Julio Jones, Mohamed Sanu, those running backs, that online, line and Matt, Matt Ryan. This defense, this roster, I believe, has the fewest C players in the league. Now, it doesn't have a ton of A's. This roster is just good players everywhere. Number one. Consistency, best coach, best quarterback, as long as Aaron Rodgers is still out the New England Patriots. Rex Burkhead and Deion Lewis, as much as Tom Brady have become a nightmare for defensive coordinators. They send them out in the passing lanes. They are brutal matchups. Burkhead, Deion Lewis, don't get the press of Brady and Gronk. They have become massive mashup issues for teams in the AFC.
Hi, everybody, and thanks for watching. We want you to subscribe here, here, to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from the herd or go watch a few segments from the newest show on FS1, First Things First with Chris Carter and Nick Wright.